In this tutorial, we take the Joomla backup that we made and put it onto a new web host. A few months ago, I showed you a component that allowed you to backup your Joomla website. Now, we're going to take that backup and put it onto a new web server. So here, I have my website in Crubble Tutorials, and I'm simply going to back up this website and then move it onto my new web host. So to get started, log into your backend of your Joomla website and locate your Joomla pack component, which is under the drop-down menu. And you can just click backup now because we'll do a new backup just so we're up to date on everything. Now I'm using Joomla pack. However, there is a new version of this out. And it's now called Akiba backup. So I've just been kind of lazy and haven't really updated my component, but I recommend that you have the latest version when doing this. When you're doing anything really on a website, make sure you're always up to date with your plugins and components and so forth because it's just always good to do that. So once you have Joomla Pack or Akiba or whatever you're using installed, let's just simply hit backup now to make a backup of our website so everything is up to date. Once the backup is complete, and this might take several minutes depending on how big your website is, we'll just then click Administer Backup Files. And now we have the list of backups that we've made, and let's just click the latest one here, and then click Download. And then the file will download. Once the file is done downloading, locate it on your computer, in this case, I just have it in my downloads folder here, which is quite crowded as you can see. But right here, I have the zip file and I'm just gonna double click to then extract it. Or you can right click and choose your you know, method of extracting however you choose to extract files. Now, once it's extracted, we are going to take all those files and upload them to the new web host. Open up your favorite FTP program and locate the directory in which you have your websites or your website for this case. And now we're going to make a new directory in that for these files. So you can then just simply right click and create a directory or however you choose to do it. And in this case, we will name this tutorials and click OK. So once we have the tutorials folder, I'll just double click to go into that. And then going back to my files here, take all those files from the extracted directory, select them all, and then just drag and drop into the FTP client. Now I have over 200 meg of information here, so this will take some time. So just sit back, relax, and let it upload. Once you have all of your files uploaded, we need to create a database to put this new website, or rather this old website, onto. In my case, I'm moving this to a new web host, so I'm just going to log into that new web host and scroll down to the databases section. And here, I'm going to create a new MySQL database. Now, this is really similar or exactly the same as how we installed Joomla to begin with. In my first Joomla tutorial, I took you through how to create a database and so forth. And again, this is just the same thing. You're gonna just go to a database wizard and you're gonna go through step by step. You're gonna create the database name, you're gonna get a username, a password, and then you'll apply that information to the install process. So just go through right now and create a database and get those three pieces of information, the database name, username and password. Now that I've made a database and that is all good to go, I'm going to create a subdomain so I can access the files on my server. Now you don't have to do this. Again, based on the directory you put your files in, you can simply access the files from that directory. It just all depends on how you have your website set up. So in this case, I'll just click subdomains and I'll just quickly create a subdomain for this. So I'll name this tutorials.chattroffribbon.com and then I'll put the root to that as well. Because remember, I have all my files 
in a folder called tutorials. So I'll just simply do that and click, click create. And now the subdomain has been created. So the final step now is to install the website onto the new database. So I'll just simply come up here to another window and just delete this URL and type in this new subdomain. So tutorials dot my name dot com. Now when you do this, it's going to initiate the install process. So we just go ahead and click next. And then we'll have all this. Basically, you're basically doing the process you did before when you were actually installing it to begin with. So you can check all your stuff here and click next. And this window might look a little bit different depending on the version of Joomla you have and also which version of Joomla pack you're using. Now here's the important step. We just created that database, remember. So now we need to put in that database information. So we'll need the host name, username, password, and database name. And you'll have all that information already because you went through the process and created the database and you have that information. So at this step, go ahead and put in that information for your database. After I put in my database information, your um, database will go through and basically check all the files and hopefully you should now get a congratulations little message right here saying that it worked and we just click next and we can now set up the FTP if you are using FTP in, in conjunction with your um, Joomla website I usually don't so I'll just click next and here now we can enter the site name your um, email and password and so on. So you're basically just kind of reconfiguring your username and all that. So you can come in here and then if you want to change the name of your site, you can do that. Put in your password, your email, and so forth. So once you have all your information, you click next and you're brought to the finish screen. <clears throat> and here it'll tell you to basically remove the installation directory from your FTP or from your files. So if we go back to the FTP client and we just simply go to the tutorials folder and then we browse, we can find the installation folder in that tutorials directory. Remember this is where I basically uploaded all the files because Joomla pack puts in this installation folder so we can basically reinstate Joomla. So once we have installed Joomla, we simply want to delete it. So I'll just click delete get rid of that. Now we'll simply go back to our browser here and let's just put in that subdomain then. So tutorials.chadtrofkrimda.com that would be mine just to access to see if the site's there and voila the site is there and it's just like increbletutorials.com it's just like how it is. It's, it looks at least it looks like it is. Now I advise that you go through and go through all of these sections and make sure that everything is there because even though this is a direct backup, you know, something could have gone wrong. You never know. Maybe during the uploading process or whatever. So make sure you click around and make sure that everything's there. Make sure all your images are there. Make sure you can log into your back end and so forth. So make sure you do all of that. Anyway, I hope you guys found this helpful and make sure you back up your sites often because you never know what could happen. Thanks for watching.